Sunbeam Mixmaster Stand Mixer has a powerful 350 watt motor and 12 variable speed settings for versatility. Soft start technology helps minimize unnecessary splatters or messy flower puffs. Non skid rubber feet for stability. Tilt locking head for easy bowl access. One button simple attachment removal. Accessories include chrome beaters, dough hooks, whisks, and two and four quart glass bowls. Cord length, 30. The Sunbeam Mixmaster Stand Mixer offers power, precision, and performance, with features to make mixing easier. This Sunbeam Mixer has an off-center bowl position option that reduces scraping and makes it convenient to gradually add eggs, flour mixtures, and delicate ingredients. The Mixmaster makes a great cake mixer and is built with durable die-cast metal construction, and includes 12 variable settings, a tilt locking head, and a 350-watt motor. The mixer comes with two four-quart glass bowls, two chrome beaters, and two dough hooks. Top reviews from the United States. And she loved it. She is a baker and has made. I purchased this mixer when it was $60. I purchased this mixer because my cousin had it, and she loved it. She is a baker and has made a wedding cake with it. She uses it very, very often for Italian meringue buttercream, which requires so much beating, and pound cakes. She also has had this mixer for a while, I think four to five years. It still works perfectly. I was nervous because of the negative reviews, I believe I read each one, but this mixer worked perfectly for me. It is, was, my first mixer, so I didn't have anything to compare it to. It needed bread dough twice a week, and this was a white bread dough that used five cups of flour and made two loaves. It needed it for five minutes each time. Sometimes my dough climbed the hooks, but otherwise the mixer never sounded strained. I once over kneaded the dough and came back 10 minutes later, and the mixer's still perfectly fine. The mixer does vibrate some while mixing, but it did not scoot or slide. I whipped egg white to stiff peaks countless times, on speed 12, always start lower to loosen up the egg whites, and they were done in 6 to 7 minutes. Make sure you scrape down the bowl when mixing. The bowls are wide, glass, and sturdy. They are a bit heavy, and even once dropped, accidentally, they didn't break. The dough hooks work well. For the beaters, one beater has a circular cap on it, which if you was the beaters immediately after using is okay, but hard to clean once whatever is on it dries. The whisks can bend, so I just store them upright. I didn't use the mixer as a stand mixer, but I did try it. For me it was heavy and unyielding. When I first used it, it had a slightly metallic, electrical smell, but it went away after the second use. The scent wasn't strong either.